Bonjour, my soccer universe. I try to do it this time. I think this is a little bit cleaner. There are. This is the Olympic video because there are three Olympics in the teams that I've chosen here. One of which I'm wearing. I'm wearing a non-PSG jersey. I have to say, Marseille jerseys, as we will see, are always really, really nice. Although I'm definitely on the PSG side of the divide, but the Marseille Olympic OM jersey should have been in my collection for a while. You see here on the side how I divided up the teams in the video. I took the abandoned standings from last year and every team with a two is in this video and then I sorted them alphabetically although I had a little bit of a hard time doing it because you know shall I do Olympique Lyon or should it be Lyon or Olympique Marseille or Marseille. I decided to go with Lyon, Marseille and then uh, Nîmes Olympique, I mean, that's a little bit, so uh, that's why they're not under O. That's how i chosen that. And so we start with OL, Olympique de Lyon, or just, as I usually call them, Lyon. Uh, yes, if I was French, I probably would have done it differently, but I'm not. I started French a little bit. Uh, Lyon, I have to say, as of late, Last season's Lyon jersey was already was more boring than this one. This one, at least, we have the club's colors in there. Uh, one side red accents, the other side blue accents. I just I'm missing the times where they had like a sash or a band or whatever in red and blue. And the, I, I have been looking at uh, OL jerseys and have to have, have to say there was is a sash jersey I think from 08 or 09 that I really liked. This one, yeah, it's a Adidas jersey. I actually think it uses the colors pretty smart. I mean, you have, I already discussed in my Serie A churches, just really, I'm not a fan of the Emirates Fly Better logo. Just Emirates would, would be enough to fly better, just does not jive with the rest. Uh, ruining one of the more elegant sponsors in there. Um, and that the logos then I'm blue, I think you you achieve kind of a balance between the two colors on the front, but it's a little bit too plain, a little bit too boring for my taste, and that's why uh, I'm at least it's a classic Adidas look, but other than that, there's nothing really special about it, and for that reason. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna give this six stars. I would like to give it more, but uh, to, to be honest, it's just a little bit too boring. It's better than we had, well, 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 we had last season, but still not really exciting. Uh, the away jersey we saw a lot in the Champions League of last season, and honestly, yes, it's something different, but I do not understand this one. Why do we need a uh, dark gray with black? I really, really, really do not like I know there are many people who like this. I don't. Um, there should be at least, you know, if you with maybe the gray make the pinstripes at least in the club's colors. But to me, no. And I, I also don't like the template. I, I, this is the this, uh, this template I do not like. I have said this before. I do not like this one. And I don't understand it. Uh, to me, it is boring. I mean, gray is not my favorite color to begin with. There are very few gray jerseys that work, and they usually have a little bit splash of color in there. This does not. It, you know, this would be better if it's just black, a little bit of white. Then you need to have more than just the crest for oil. I mean, at least the crest is there to give you some more color. It needs a little bit more color if you have, 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 have it in there. For that reason, I'm sorry. Four stars. I know people are gonna hate me. More colors is coming through the third jersey, which is the Juventus jersey from last season, the away jersey in blue. Same pattern. It's I think a slightly darker blue, and then you have the yellow. <coughs> the yellow probably comes a little bit plays with the yellow in the crest, but it is very. It is if this was another color. I mean, if uh, blue. It's a club's color. The yellow is really pushing it to me. But thanks to it being blue, I think I can look past it. I would like to see instead of a yellow or some red there. Then I would I, I would like a whole lot more. Also a little bit more excitement going going on, but okay. Five stars. I think I'm fair here. I think. That's at least my feeling. Metz Kappa. And this is your typical French kit. 
plane with lots of sponsors on there. Uh, the color is typically matte. I actually like the color. Uh, there's a little bit of peppering in there, but is it exciting? No. Is it too many sponsors? Yes. Five stars. The away jersey, that's almost a little bit like Torino and I like this better because uh, here you have at least a little bit, you know, the, the first one was a little bit too much in one. This one looks better and has also less sponsors on, on the away, which is nice, but you have a little bit of the red here. I think the white, a white would have done well on the color on the home jersey. Here you have a little bit red here, you have the crest in the red. Uh, you know, I like a little bit more white. Is this better? Is it great? No. Six stars. Oh, I'm quite high coefficient. Probably the best one, although it's again, take a weird color and slap the crest. This is almost like the Milan away jersey. But I have to say, this looks the best of all these. And for that reason, I'm going to give this the six stars that it probably wouldn't deserve otherwise. But you know, little sponsors. It is a third jersey. You can play around it. Actually, it jives quite well. Um, the This turquoise blue with the dark red and a little bit gold. I think this is a very good color mixture that I think for a third jersey I can totally understand. Not exciting overall mats, but you know, at least they get something uh, decent. And then we are at Marseille. This is the third Puma jersey. This is last season, 120 year kit, where actually in my review I missed all these little details in there that I have to show you when I do a jersey dedicated church jerseys video. This time we have crafted by culture. And the pattern on there is kind of this diamonds or, or whatever, which is based on the Le Corbusier uh, buildings all over Marseille apartment buildings, which I think is a nice touch. A nice touch I think is also the light blue collar and the sleeve cuffs. Um, the gold Puma I can get, get away with because we have here's a little bit gold. I'm a little bit bothered by the black sponsor and I'm so glad I got this one without sponsor. So yeah, I think as far as Marseille kids go, this is a pretty good one. Um, but I think it is, you know, the crafted by culture pattern is a little bit too understated for my liking. And then the accents are rather more average. And then we're going, I mean, Marseille kids are usually all, always nice, but I, it's just almost, again, too plain. But seven stars, I think, is a fair grade. I do, however, totally love, totally love this away jersey. So much so that I have been looking at it, uh, of, gay, uh, of getting it for a while or already. And that's me, as I said, at the OM PSG divide. I'm more on the PSG side, but this is an awesome jersey. This is awesome. Uh, it basically takes the same thing as the home jersey, but what it does, it uh, the dark blue with the light blue is already absolutely lovely. But then look at the pattern. I like the houses in there and then the little gold splashes like from Notre Dame du Gard, the big statue uh, towering above Marseille. That is just awesome. What prevents it for me uh, from being a total 10 star is that maybe the Due to the heavy pattering, the jersey looks gets away from this very, very, very pleasing dark blue in my eyes. But other than that, this is absolutely awesome. This could well be, at, at least among club jerseys, my favorite crafted by culture jersey. Uh, I'm gonna go nine stars. I would give it nine and a half. It's not quite a 10 yet, but this is a one of the best jerseys this season. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. And similar stuff I can say about the third jersey. Take the light blue, pull a lot of swirls on there to make it really interesting to look at. The one thing that I don't, don't get is the neon Marseille logo on it. That is a little bit of pudding. Uh, if that was white i would say white should it should it should be then i think i would love this a lot a little more but this is exciting to look at overall i ha i really have to say um eight stars i think is the proper grade for this one i think marseille again i keep saying marseille usually has some of the best kit sets anywhere in european soccer because the colors allow it. You have the white, you have the light blue, and then it usually perfectly pairs with the dark blue. I didn't like necessarily that the period where they had the orange in there, 
although it fitted with the sponsor. But what, what they're doing now with playing with the, the different blue tones, you usually get something really, really good looking. Well done, Puma. Well done. Uh, I think Puma jerseys... Uh, Puma has not disappointed for Marseille so far since they took over from Adidas. Uh, Puma also does here a pretty nice job. I have to say, last season's Neem jerseys I liked a lot with the crocodile pattern. Here we still have the crocodile pattern, but now it goes on the sleeves. Which... Nice. I mean, cro crocodiles are my favorite animals. Here, you have a tidbit that you probably didn't expect. Uh, the sponsor is too big, but you know, other than that, it's your plain red jersey, as you would expect. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I love how the crest and, and you know, the Nim logo with the uh, croc is in there. I'm not sure about this white side stripe striping. And then you have the scale pattern on the sides. Uh, seven. It's not too outstanding, but it's it's not a bad church jersey either. The away jersey is basically a color reversal. Ah, there is a little bit on the collar. That was also on the away jersey, on the home home jersey. But the away jersey is a little bit more. And although I don't like the non-symmetric here, I actually can't get I can't borrow it. Gives it gives it's a little bit a special look. Um, I also will give this a seven. But I like here that this um, on the collar is actually uh, black and red. So give it a little bit more pep there. Other than that, uh, you know, it's more or less the same jersey, jersey with uh, flipping of the colors. But looks pretty darn good, I have, have had to say. And then when they use it on the black, I have to say the scales look best on the black. There's no way around it. Uh, I maybe wish that the crest was in red as well, but uh, it looks good. I will also not go higher than the seven because of the sponsors and so on, but I have to say the three are very, very, very similar. Totally. But I have to say the pick for me is always the black with the red. I mean, I'm fan, of course. Uh, although I like all the others too, but here you s the scales pop out the best. That's what I like, and I love Nim for that. I looked at this last year's Nim jersey also. It was a French store, too much shipping, that's the problem. Otherwise it would probably be up there already. And then Strasbourg, Adidas, and the problem with Strasbourg, I have other sponsors. Although I have to say the home jersey, the pattern on there, that looks nice. All over it has this VV pattern, a little bit like the Real Madrid uh, jersey from last season. Um, lightens this up a little bit. I have to say the sponsor with the green in is actually not that bad. Um, again, your typical French jersey, I wish that the green was red, that it a little bit goes with the crest and then maybe the crest and the colors of the jersey could also fit together a little bit better. But I'm going the Nimue 7. 7. It's Better than average, but it's not outstanding. Uh, however, the away jersey then loses me a little bit because the sponsor, yes, it fits with the color a little bit better, but now it gets a little bit over. And I like white jerseys, but uh, there are too many colors in there. You have the light blue of the crest, and you have the a little bit darker light blue over the Adidas logo, then you have another blue here, then you have another blue around the collar. It makes it all messy, 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 messy. And this is not a good messy. And for that reason, I have to say four stars here. Well, that's it for part two. I will shoot part three and four rather soon. Uh, so you should get half them soon so as well. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!